dust. These fine particles of matter settle on every exposed indoor surface, including the ceiling and walls, behind furniture, and inside objects such as radiators. We are going to take an in-depth look at dust, its effect on indoor air quality, the potential impact radiators have, what bad air quality means to the inhabitants in the NHS, what procedures are in place already, and what we can do to combat the issue. The amount and contents of dust depend on the activities that take place in the indoor space, with busier areas gathering more. Most commonly, dust is a mixture of fibres, dead skin cells, bugs, soil particles and residues of furniture, electronics or other domestic consumer products. On a microscopic level, a wide variety of compounds have been found in dust. Some pose a health risk, including house dust mites, microbial taxa composed of bacteria and fungi spores, the biologically active peanut protein, protein from egg, milk and fish, and chemicals such as insecticides, fungicides, flame retardants, plasticizers, industrial solvents and adhesive chemicals. If you compare how much air we breathe with uh, the amount of food we eat, for example, a typical person will, will eat about one kilogram of food a day, two kilograms of liquids per day, and 15 kilograms of air is breathed, which is approximately 500 liters per hour of air. The quality of the air that goes into our lungs, obviously it will impact on our health. Microbial taxa is a significant part of household dust, specifically from human skin, the bacteria Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Carinibacterium, and Propionibacterium. From genitals, the bacteria Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium, and Lactococcus. And from the feces, the bacteria Bacteroides, Fecalibacterium, and Ruminococcus. In addition, from mold, the fungi Aspergillus, Penicillium, Alternaria, and Fusarium. From wood degradation, the fungi Sterium, Tramites flebia, and Ganoderma. And again from human skin, the fungi Candida and Trichosporum. It's important to note that not all the contents of dust have negative health consequences. Microbial communities in the home, especially when there are pets, can reduce the risk of allergic disease development and autoimmune disorders. However, that depends entirely on the environment. Poor indoor air quality is largely driven by the behaviour of the occupants, cleaning chemicals they use in the home, uh, the frequency and the depth of those cleans, and uh, fragrance uh, chemicals, particularly air fresheners, can lead to poor indoor air quality, and lack of air changes as well in the house. The recent change in housing sizes, notably smaller floor area and volume, has made the concentration of dust more dense and increases the human exposure. There has also been a drive for thermal efficiency to combat the cost of heating homes, which has reduced the ventilation of homes by almost 90%. This has led to a trend of trapping dust inside, leading to poorer air quality that has a higher humidity and moisture content, increasing the microbial growth of bacteria and fungi. The impact of low energy homes, because they tend to be very airtight homes, and how will this impact on the health uh, and well-being of the occupants? and we found that unless they are properly ventilated, there's going to be a really major issue with health.